I've been so excited about Sprout Valley ever since I learned of its existence a few weeks ago. It's an adorable farming sim where you play as a cat in a super cute pastel colored world. It's on PC as well as Nintendo Switch. I am playing on the Nintendo Switch version today because it was quite a bit more on sale on Nintendo Switch compared to PC. And I had some points in my Nintendo eShop, so I actually didn't pay anything for it. We're gonna try it out today and I'm hoping that we like it enough to make this a short little series of cute, cozy farming gaming in Sprout Valley. Let's take a look. Do we get to pick our map? Is this like Animal Crossing? I think it might be. I don't really know how to select one. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Look at all these different islands. I think I kind of like this one. I like the little bay for the ship. It looks like a protected little bay. I don't know. Let's see if we can pick it. I don't know if we picked it. We'll find out. This is Nico, the little kitty cat. We have mail. Look at this beautiful place. I can't believe this is my home now. Time to see what is inside. Okay, Nico. Oh, look at this. What is this note? Dear Nico, with love from the awesome Kickstarter community. That's right. Sprout Valley had a Kickstarter. I would have backed it if I had known about it. This is the perfect beginning of my journey. I need to look around first. Warm welcome to the world of Sprout Valley. Nico the cat had always lived in the large town of Lemon Top, but he never felt like he belonged in the city. When he was a kitten, he'd read books about nature and the great outdoors, hoping that one day he would get a chance to escape the busy confines of his crowded city life. The main goal of the game is to grow the garden of your dreams, explore the vast archipelago, I hope I said that right, of Ostera, enjoy your farmer life, fish, be creative, do whatever you want, and most importantly, enjoy your time. Game economy. <laughs> you are able to sell pretty much anything you acquire during your playthrough. To sell something, put it into a mailbox, it will be sold the next morning. You can also buy useful supplies from the order book on the desk in your house. Select what you need, it will arrive the next morning. That reminds me of Animal Crossing, doesn't it? Crafting will be unlocked once certain conditions are met. Hint, sell items in the mailbox often. Once unlocked, go to the crafting table outside the house. Don't forget to bring materials with you. The world in Sprout Valley is procedurally generated. You have a boat near your house. If you feel adventurous, you can use it to explore new islands. Don't forget to buy travel supplies at the shop before you go. Travel supplies. Got it. Leveling. You can level up your character by doing various activities. For example, if you do many tasks related to farming, your farming level goes up. Nico has five major skills. Farming, mining, foraging, crafting, and fishing. Each level up will give you new abilities and new recipes to unlock. It sounds like a combination of Paleo and Animal Crossing so far. We have game controls. Remember, I am playing on Nintendo Switch. I don't know if there is keyboard support for the PC version. I would imagine there will be, but I don't know. Alrighty, so I have to try to remember everything. There's a catalog we can order from. Ah, oh, seeds. Magic dust, fiber, stone, travel supplies. I don't know what travel supplies would be. A cozy house. Aww. All right. See what this is. Our dresser. We apparently we are a naked little kitty right now. We have a message from Oslo the Penguin. Welcome to Astera, your very own beautiful little acre of undeveloped nature. I'm Oslo, by the way. I'm kind of what you'd call the caretaker of your current property. Well, at least I was. That title belongs to you now. I'm sure you've had a chance to look around the place a little. I'm not ashamed to admit that I never found the time to develop Ostera. It was handed down to me from my grandpappy. 
and I've sat on the deed ever since. So yeah, your check cleared and the deed's in your name. Before I forget, I'm pretty positive there should be some of my grandpappy's old tools lying around. I can't for the life of me remember where any of them are, but they're sure to help you keep Mother Nature tame if you can find them. There could even be one on your sofa for all I know. I included a small gift for you as well. It's nothing much, just an old walkie-talkie. Mail is great and all, but the walkie-talkie will let me help you get acclimated a bit. Oh, I almost forgot I left some seeds and travel supplies in the chest near your house to get you started. Anyway, just wanted to introduce myself and say hi. I'll be in touch. Don't forget to check your mailbox occasionally. Sincerely, Oslo. This guy Oslo seems really nice. He looked so serious, but is actually very cool. Time to start my new farm life. That was a lot of information all at once. I don't think I'm going to remember it all. Okay, we have a chest. Oh, is that my walkie-talkie? <laughs> um, hello? Hey champ, it's your pal Oslo. Just trying out the range on these bad boys, and it seems to be working great. Oh, hey Oslo? And don't worry about changing the batteries or anything like that. These puppies are solar powered. So by just spending time outside every day, you'll be keeping the walkie-talkie fully charged. Good luck finding all the tools. You should be looking for a hoe, axe, pickaxe, fishing rod, and watering can. The farming staples, am I right? Thanks for the help, Oslo. I will start looking for them. Um, I found something, but, oh, wait a minute, axe. Use the axe to gather resources from the trees. You can get valuable fruits and wood from them. Be careful if you hit the trees too much, they will break. I did see a review about this game. I peeked a bit, and it said something about not depleting the resources on your island because they don't grow back. So I need to remember not to do that. Use the hoe to apply your soil first. Choose a spot for the future plants, then hit the soil with the hoe. You are then ready to plant. If you hoe the soil more, you can see a bump. Planting seeds here gives them a slight boost in growth. Plant on the bumps gives you a boost. Got it. So much to remember. Here is our little chest. Wait, is there a... Wait a minute. Okay, I gotta figure out how to use this. There is a dinosaur looking thing. A dino pet? I have a pet? We have some seeds and these are travel supplies. Let's put those in our pocket. Um, let's put some carrot seeds in here too, in case we need them. How do I get my tools out? Here's my pickaxe. Pickaxe will gather resources from the stones. You can get valuable resources. Be careful if you hit them too much, they will break. Should we put our garden? Wait, first let's see, did we get the map that we chose? Um, we should have a little protected inlet. Maybe we did. Oh, we didn't. This is not the map that I was trying to choose. <laughs> no. I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe you didn't get to choose it? Well, for now, it looks like we have a well here. I'm guessing that's where we get water. Is this a garden already? I think. Fishing is very fun. Find a fish shadow. Throw the float near the fish. Once you hear it start to splash, it's time to pull. The rarer the fish, the smaller the window to pull is. <laughs> All right. Um, well. Oh, what is this thing for? I don't even know what this... I don't know what it is. Let's see if we can hit... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we're hoeing. We are hoeing. Oh, we planted our carrots. Look at this. Do we have a watering can yet? We do not. We do not. I need to go and find it. I got it! Some sort of a green fish. It looks kind of like a betta. I don't know. Let's explore our island and see how little it is. It is pretty little. We have lots of rocks to break. Let's see if we can travel. Oh, do we have time? We do have time. There is a clock up top. It looks like a sunshine and I'm not sure what that is on the right of the clock. I guess we'll find out. 
It's too dangerous to travel without my equipment. I don't know if I can travel or not. I guess let's go ahead and try to break some rocks while we have time here. That would be the pickaxe down here. Let's try to get some of those. There we go. Is that an apple tree and a berry bush? I have to be mindful not to take all of the resources. Got rid of some rocks. Look at the lightning bugs. I wonder if we get a net and can catch them. Am I supposed to sleep? I don't know. Let's see if we can rest for the night. Oh, here's my watering can. Use the watering can to take care of your crops. Don't forget to water them each day. It greatly speeds up the crop growth. Let's see if we can go out there and water them before we go to bed. Now that you have the tools, you can plant crops. You need to have seeds in your inventory, which you can buy at the orders desk. Plow the ground, then drag seeds from your inventory, or press the action key. When your crops are done, you will see a slight animation. Use the hoe to harvest them. All right, I would not have thought to use the hoe to harvest. All right, we are sleeping. And now it advances to the next day. And we have sales from items in our mailbox. 528 is our total. Wait a minute. Let's see if we can equip our little pet. Dino pet. Oh, we do have, look at our little dino pet. He's huge. <laughs> he is huge. Morning Champ received your very first shipment yesterday and you'll be pleased to know that most of it has already found its way on the store shelves. Anyway, included in this letter is the coin I promised. Don't worry, I won't bother you with a letter every morning. We're both busy bees after all. I will, however, send you a receipt and your coin, so don't forget to check. Got a jet? Can't wait to see what else you send over. Happy harvesting, your buddy, Oslo. We are going to plant, are these eggplants? I guess let's try some eggplants. I don't know what those are, peas perhaps, and maybe corn? Oh, wheat, it said wheat. It did say what they were. Um, nope. Nope. Okay, inventory open is the left button. Lettuce seeds. Okay, lettuce seeds. We have one lettuce. Let's plant another one here. And then we'll plant a little bit of wheat. There's some wheat. And we'll put our eggplants right here. And now let's go ahead and water them all. Energy management. Every action requires the use of energy. You can replenish some of your lost energy by consuming fruits and vegetables. Open the inventory, hold down the action key on an item to consume it. So you do have to eat. Oh. See if we can eat some fiber. Oh. All right, I figured out how to eat. It took me forever. You have to hold your action button down <laughs> over that fruit that's in your pocket. Oh my goodness. And now that I have spent so much time on that, it's dark already. We did catch a fish of some sort. Oh, wait a minute. Rest and sleep. We all get tired after a hard day of work. If you stay up for far too long, Nico will faint and his energy level will be low in the morning. Try not to stay up past midnight. How do I know when it's midnight? To sleep, crawl under the warm blanket. Nico will sleep after a couple seconds. Um, oops. Oops. Nope, nope. No! <laughs> I cannot get the hang of these controls. Uh, I don't want to sell the seeds. Let's sell this fish that we have. Oh no, I think Nico fainted. He fainted. I gotta figure out how to tell time too. My goodness. I did sell a largemouth bass. That was that green looking fish. Some apples in a, oh that was not a fish I caught. It was a crumpled jar. It's so tough to tell with pixel graphics. Okay, so I am waking up with low energy already, but... I have figured out how to eat. That's gonna help our energy a little bit. 
see if we can travel yet. Can we? Do you want me to travel to another island? Yes, I would love to see another island. Here we go. Fast travel. I have to remember my energy isn't all that great. Let's get out our axe. There's gotta be an easier way to do that, right? Three hits, we're gonna get all these pairs. I think this is gonna be the key to getting resources, traveling to different islands, and I'm guessing those will replenish themselves. Can we harvest? Oh, we can, we got some berries. Let's cut some more peaches. Wait, what is this, a little shop? We have special items that we can purchase. What is this that looks like, are those ants or spiders? Oh wait, they're squid. What do I do with squid? These are cucumber seeds, a helicopter hat or a pirate hat. Hmm, well I think cucumber seeds could be very useful but my storage is so full right now. I just don't think now is the time to buy that. We need to wait until we can get more storage and I'm guessing we can't make more storage until we have crafting available to us. Let's see if we can go back. Yes. Did this cost me anything to travel? I didn't even think to look. It said something about taking travel supplies. I have two... Did it use a travel supply? I think it did. I think I had three travel supplies before this, and now I only have two. We are going to sell our berries and our pears and our apples and grapes. We'll keep our stack of oranges in here just for... Oh, they're not oranges. I forgot. Wait, these are oranges. We have oranges and peaches. We're going to keep our oranges here. And we are going to check on our crops. They probably need watered. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to bed and let's put our pet away. I'm sorry, little buddy. Wait a minute, that didn't work. There we go. He goes back in our inventory. Oh dear. Wait a minute. I don't have anywhere to put him. He's got to go in my pocket. Can I order more storage? Travel supplies are 250. Well, let's just go to bed. We are sleeping. We are about to start on day three. Entrepreneur. We sold a lot of different items. Can we have crafting? Oh, what's in our mailbox? Hey, Nico, I noticed you sending me a lot of raw goods. Have you tried crafting yet? No, I have not, but I need to. There is a crafting table by your house that you can use to make all sorts of cool stuff. Oh, that's what that is. That's a workbench. It looks kind of like a file folder, but I can see where it's a workbench. <laughs> And you know what's really amazing, Nico? Magic dust. It's a byproduct of all crafting recipes, though you won't always get it, or a lot. Generally, the harder you work on something, the more you get, and it can be really useful. I sell some at my shop if you need a little extra. Or complicated crafts. Show me some of the things you make sometime, okay, Nico? I bet my customers would love what you come up with. Well, got a jet. Thanks, Oslo. Let's see if we can craft anything. We can, I just need tools. We can craft planks of wood. We can smelt. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Plank of wood. Um. Okay, let's just make a plank of wood. I don't know what we can do with it. I guess we can sell it. Oh, a bridge. Do I have anywhere I can use... A bridge? Wait, can I make a bridge to another island? I need fiber. You can make wooden paths to avoid getting lost. Wow, if I can make a bridge to another island, that would be really cool. 
Oh, look at what the plus button brings up. These are all my different skills. It tells you what day you're on, tells you your energy, the crafting that you've done, the fish you've caught, how many coins you have earned. Oh, this is a little guide. Use the hoe. I want to know how I get more tools. If you hit the trees too much, they will break. Yeah, I figured that out. Um, so this is a little game guide here. What is all this? Fishing. So th these are your different levels for your tools. This is so cute. We have a calendar. We have little dates. What is on the 10th? Some sort of bee activity? If you get stuck somewhere and can't get out, call Pascal Town Rescue Service. And then you can change your controls there. Ooh, all right. I'm thinking maybe our tools don't break then. Every other game like this you play, your tools wear out and break, but it doesn't seem to be happening. So it's just my energy. That makes sense. I'm discovering so much and feeling like a doofus as well. Can I walk on this? I can't get rid of that rock. I would love to see if there is a map. Is there a map? What is this? Oh, there's an emote wheel. If you press the minus button, you can do emotes. I don't know what good they do. But we have an emote wheel. The trigger buttons don't seem to do anything. Here we are at the end of day three. We have lots of different crops planted. We have cleaned up our island quite a bit. We have figured out a bit about the game. I'm very curious if we can build bridges to other islands. I don't think there's a map, so I don't know how we know which direction to build. I am enjoying this game. It's very cute and I'm slowly getting the hang of it and I will get better with the controls, but I want to play more. So I plan to make this a little series on the channel. If you would like to hop along on this and other adventures with us, please make sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.